Unit 1 Chemistry General advice for exams, do bring a black pen, do bring a calculator, do bring a ruler and do use the data sheet when the question tells you to do that. You will need at some point to look at the periodic table at the reactivity series of metals and at formulae of common ions. Don't bother repeating the question in your answers. It won't get you any marks and it only wastes time and space. Atoms Atomic structure. Now all substances are made of tiny particles called atoms. And here's a diagram of an atom. In the middle we have the nucleus, which contains protons and neutrons. And then we have electrons with different energy levels arranged in shells. We have a maximum of two electrons in the first shell, the innermost, and a maximum of eight in all subsequent shells. And it fills up from the innermost shell outwards. So if you're doing an exam question which is asking you to draw the electronic structure of an atom, it's a good idea to write it out in numbers first, like this, 2, 8 or 2, 8, 1, whatever it is. And that will help to make sure that you get the right number of electrons into each electron shell. Now these subatomic particles have different characteristics. They have different electrical charges. An electron has an electrical charge of minus 1. It's negative with a value of 1. Protons have a positive electrical charge, plus 1. And neutrons, as the name suggests, has no electrical charge at all. It's neutral. Now, the number of protons in an atom is always the same as the number of electrons. So that means the charges, therefore, cancel each other out and the atom has no overall charge because the number of positive charges is the same as the number of negative charges. There's no overall charge and an atom is neutral. Now, you can work out the number of protons, neutrons and electrons an atom has by looking at the periodic table. So let's take sodium as an example. The smaller of the two numbers, number 11 there, that's the atomic number of sodium. The atomic number tells us the number of protons that an atom has. And because the protons and the electrons are always equal, then we also know that it has 11 electrons as well. Now the bigger of the two number, the atomic mass, or the mass number, 23 in the case of sodium, is the sum of the protons and neutrons. That's the protons and neutrons added together. Now, we know that sodium has 11 protons, therefore it must have 23 minus 11, which is 12 neutrons. So that's how you work out the number of protons, neutrons and electrons for an element. Elements. Now, the definition of an element is a substance which is made up of only one type of atom. And each element is represented by a symbol. All the atoms of an element have the same number of protons, but atoms of different elements have different numbers of protons. So you look at the diagram there, all those atoms are the same type, so what we've got there is an element. Compounds. Now when atoms of two or more different elements react, they join to form a compound. And they join in a chemical reaction by giving, taking or sharing electrons. So if you look at the diagram, we've got element X and element Y. They're joined, so that makes them a compound. Mixture. A mixture consists of 
two or more different types of atoms not joined together. So no chemical reaction has taken place and the atoms can be separated again. So the diagram shows we've got different types of atom present but they're not joined and they can be separated. So periodic table shows different groups of elements. Now groups are the vertical columns. Now elements are put into the same group because they have the same number of electrons in their outer shell. So everything in group 1 has one electron in its outer shell, everything in group 2 has two electrons in its outer shell and so on. Now having the same number of electrons in their outer shells gives them similar chemical properties. So for example group 1 all react with oxygen and they all react with water. Group O, sometimes also called the noble gases, these are all unreactive because their electron arrangement is stable. Okay, so quickly test yourself. Hopefully you've printed out all these notes so you can answer it now and find the answers at the beginning of the next chapter.